Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you a can gauge, a dual can gauge that I made for a customer. So this is totally custom built. And but let me start from the beginning. So this one is based on this can gauge can canvas gauge. And I made several videos of these. I built another one for another customer that I showed in a previous video. And uh, this is the world's smallest, most featured CAN bus gauge available. And I built it, designed it, built it, and the whole nine yards. And so this customer, he's in Australia. Shout out to all the mates over the large pond and he wanted a dual gauge because he wants to have two functions at the same time and although of course you can switch to the different screens to be able to see both at the same time you need two gauges so he wanted something and he wanted to be able to mount this into a panel into his dashboard so I did use my double um, carbon fiber panel and I custom fabricated uh, another one not the same carbon fiber but also carbon fiber and this one is matte this one was uh, shiny glossy or matte on the other side I decided it would be a nicer contrast if it's shiny and matte and he obviously this board has touch sensors on the side which I saw I made the video showing how those work if you're interested do check the description below the video and uh, since we cannot use touch sensors especially not the ones in the middle uh, we decided to use switches and these are 10 millimeter switches with LED rings I don't know why it's not getting in focus now it is this here away got too much stuff on my desk and uh, he wanted to have four different colors he did also choose the colors for the switches and what I did what I normally use for dimming of the display I use these LDRs and um, since they sit normally on the back of the PCB towards the top which again would have not worked when this thing is mounted flush into the dash I decided to put them on the front obviously and initially I was gonna put them like this with just a hole but then I thought well let's do something a little bit extra and I bought these LED lights and I just took the LED out and put the LDR in here just um, the size of it was 0.2 millimeters too large and I had I did use my belt grinder I'm on one point horsepower belt grinder and grinding these for 15 minutes must be the belt um, to be able to get them fit inside of here so it was a major major task plus the pins are pretty close to the edge so I had to be careful not to damage the LDR and I did manage to well sand them or mm, grind them down and fit them in here so that's what I used to make it a look a little bit nicer I also asked him if he wanted the switches in black or chrome and he or silver and he chose silver and first it did not have a back cover and then he said well uh, I would like to have a back cover so I did design a new cover and luckily I had 30 millimeter M2 screws that are long enough to pass through here and be able to mount this. So now it's a closed back case. These are the connections for the two can gauges, obviously. Um, and this is hooked up at the moment to my 
CAN bus simulator here, which I can adjust RPM and speed and some other values and the most of the values are just random values that go up and down. And anyway, here you can then switch to different screens. Those are the automatic running screens and you can go back. Speed I can then adjust here and on the next screen for samples RPM or go to the first screen which has both RPM and speed and I won't go into the all the different screens because I did that in previous videos um, I just mainly wanted to show that I do make custom CAN bus gauges which I don't think anybody else does make them <clears throat> I do have also different ones I have them with OLED display these one have the color IPS display I have a 2 inch version um, with 2 inch display and I have a 3.5 inch capacitive touch canvas gauge that's based on the ESP32 and these one run actually on the Atmega 1284 right 84 yes Atmega 1284 because that one has a lot small room than the 328 and I can fit all the bitmaps in here which you can see when I turn it on <clears throat> he also wanted custom bitmaps for his gauge these are a little bit harder to see on the camera and um, yes so I think it came out pretty good and um, if you're interested if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments and I will gladly answer them for you and here you can see some of my other products and I also made a product video about this Nightcore BB Nano blower which comes really handy for blowing dust off some electronics so if you're interested I have a will link uh, leave a link in the description it also has attachment for a vacuum uh, cleaner which you can take the back off which is actually a filter so this one doesn't blow just air it does blow filtered air through the nozzle it's silicone and anyway if you're interested please uh, check the description and I have a new product coming out and I just received those beautiful 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 resin printed cases mine look like this so I don't know if it's the resin if it's the printer or both I would really like to know what kind of resin they use and what kind of machines they have so this will be shown in an upcoming video if you want to see it please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified on the video and on my other stuff that I do if you want to support me you can hit the like button as I said subscribe and hit the notification bell Let me put this here hit the notification bell this has also an auto screen oops auto cycle screen so it does cycle to the screens and you can change between imperial and metric uh, readouts and anyway you can check out my tindy store where you can find some of these guys some of them I do only custom build like this attitude indicator which I like very very much and um, become a patreon I still have five <laughs> and maybe or buy me a coffee through my um, PayPal link in the description I would greatly appreciate it every little bit helps and uh, this is it for today's video I hope I didn't bore you too much and uh, but I really like this it came out really really pretty so anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody